Hello everyone! In this robotics, mechatronics and robot operating system tutorial, we explain how to install and use a lighter in Raspberry Pi. In particular, we are using a Slamtech RP Lighter A1M8 and we are using Raspberry Pi microcontroller version 4 with 4 GB of RAM memory. Over here, on the computer screen that's projected from the Raspberry Pi, you can see a scan of the corner of my room made by the lighter. The straight line shown over here is the neighboring wall. And you can easily figure it out that it's a neighboring wall since if you put a hand in front of the lighter, as I'm doing it right now, the line disappears. If I remove the hand, Here's the line again. This means that the lighter is scanning the wall in the corner. The operating system installed on the Raspberry Pi microcontroller is the Ubuntu Mate Linux version. Ubuntu Mate is installed on top of Ubuntu 20.04 server. Ubuntu Mate is a lightweight version of Ubuntu suitable for computers with limited resources such as Raspberry Pi. We are using ROS version 1, Noetic, and we are running the standard ROS package for this lighter. Our initial tests show that the combination of Raspberry Pi and Ubuntu Mate can successfully run this lighter and its ROS node. This conclusion is very important since we plan to use Raspberry Pi 4, this lighter, and its ROS package to develop a complete SLAM and navigation system for our mobile robot. But before I start with explanations, I need to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as almost 500 free video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. And consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot. In the sequel, we explain how to install and test the lighter in Ubuntu Mate. But before we start with the installation process, we need to run a program that will help us to monitor the used Raspberry Pi resources. This program will monitor the used RAM memory and CPU load. This is important for testing how much computer resources our ROS node will consume. So let's run this program. Click on Activities and over here type HTOP. Click on HTOP. And here is the program for monitoring the computer resources. As we already know, our Raspberry Pi has four cores, one, two, three, four, and here is the memory consumption. We have four gigabyte of RAM memory. Currently, we are using around one gigabyte, and we can see the resources being used. Some of these resources are actually used by the program used to record this video. Next, let's install LiDAR. Bring back this terminal, then click on File and click Open Terminal. And we will use this terminal to install LiDAR. The first step is to source the environment. Assuming that you have properly installed ROS1, Noetic, you need to source this file. Okay, after that we need to create the workspace folder and inside of this folder, we need to create the source folder. We do it like this. Then, the next step is to go to the source folder. And inside of this source folder, we need to clone the package given at this GitHub page. Let me expand this window so you can, you can see it clearly. Here it is. This is the web page used to clone the package. It's a GitHub repository. So let's press enter and we need to wait a little bit. Okay, not bad. The next step is to build the workspace. To build the workspace, we need to go to the root folder of our workspace. And in the works folder, we need to run capkin make. This will build a package. This will take a while. 
Meanwhile, you can actually look into computer resources, all for being used almost my percent. This is because we are rich and the workspace. You will see one or two where they are not ordered. And you can see the progress over here. This process will take a while. The complete process lasted maybe around one minute. The next step is to source our package. To do that, we need to execute this command. We need to source the file inside the development folder and the name of the file is setup.bash. Here it is. Okay. The next step is to run the lighter. First of all, connect your lighter to the USB port of your Raspberry Pi. Let's do that. After you connect the lighter to the USB port, you still need to do a few adjustments. First of all, you need to set up the USB permission. So type this, and over here you can see that this port is actually the active port to which we attached our lighter. The next step is to set the proper permission. We need to type this. And you need to enter your pseudo password. Okay, the next step is actually to open a new terminal and to run raw score. To do that, click on file, open a new tab over here, source the ROS environment, and run raw score. Raw score is the master ROS program running in background. Okay, perfect. Before I actually run the LiDAR program, I need to show you the following. Let's explore this package a little bit. Let's go to the source folder. And inside of this source folder, let's go to the package for folder. And let's investigate this package folder. For us, the most important folder is the launch folder. Let's go to that folder. Over here, we can see all the launch files. By running one of these files, we will bring up the RVs and we will be able to visualize the lighter data. We will actually run this file since we have this model of LiDAR. However, if you have some other model of LiDAR, you need to run the proper file. Actually, there are several files related to A1. Next, let me show you another very important thing. Open the HTOP program and let's analyze the resource consumption. Click on CPU twice and we can see that Chasm is consuming most of my CPU. Chasm is the program used to record this video, so ignore Chasm. Then, over here, you need to find raw score. So let's try to find raw score by clicking over here and type raw score. And here is raw score, actually. It doesn't consume too much of CPU. How about memory? Let's see the memory consumption again. The program used to rec record this video consumes most of the memory. So raw score doesn't consume so much memory in CPU. This is very important to know. Okay, now we are ready to run the launch file that will bring up the RVIS program and that will visualize the LiDAR data. To do that, we need to execute this command. ROS launch, name of the package, and name of the file. Let's run this file. It will take maybe five or 10 seconds to bring up RVs. You have to be patient. Here's RVs. Now, if I move my lighter, you can see how data is changing. Next, let's analyze the resources used by our lighter. 
open htopt and double click on cpu and here at the top you can actually see the rvis node that is you can see the node running our lighter and the package we can see that cpu consumption is significant however the memory consumption is not so significant we can see that the program used to record this video consumes most of the memory Okay, this will be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot.